So I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Joe Anklum, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something a little bit different, and it's something that's been very relevant in my life right now. So it's going to be tension headaches, and I'm going to show you guys some quick remedies that I've been doing to deal with them and to kind of relieve some tension while I'm actually dealing with the headache themselves without having to go to a doctor or actually take some kind of pain reliever. So these are going to be all remedies that you guys are going to be able to do in your house. These are common things that you guys have around your house that are not going to be something that you have to go out and buy or something you might be able to find at your gym if you do not have them yourself. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is something that I like to do that is common. Like I said, find things around your house. The first item is going to be two tennis balls. First I'm going to show you guys a quick technique that I like to do with the tennis ball and then I'm going to show you something along the same lines you can do with a foam roller. And I know some of you guys might not have a foam roller at your house, but if you do have a gym membership, most commercial gyms even will have foam rollers and you're going to be able to do this at your gym when you get to the gym before your workouts, after your workouts, or even just go to the gym quick and do this if you're having that much pain. So after you get the two tennis balls, you can even use the cross balls or any kind of smaller balls <laughs> like this and you want to take them and place them on the base of your neck. So if you feel your neck, you're going to feel those two big mu major muscle groups of your neck going up into the base of your head. This is where you're really going to have the most of your pain, most commonly, and this is going to run down into your traps. So after you guys are getting done rolling out your traps, you can go to the tennis balls or even do them vice versa. So this is how I like to do it, guys. And there's not a right or wrong way to do it, so just do whatever feels good. So I place them on the base of my neck where I'm having most of my pain and typically I like to just slowly roll down until they kind of slide out themselves. This is going to happen commonly but that is okay just kind of repeat this process and you can push down as hard as you feel comfortable with and this is going to relieve a lot of the pain you have. You can kind of use it as a rolling out technique just like you would with a roller kind of roll back and forth and then a good stretch I'll show you guys that my chiropractor actually showed me is you tip your head to the left side and then back to the opposite side right side and back over and back and a lot of times what this is doing is it's giving you the opposite movement of what you're commonly doing all day. So now that you guys know how to use the tennis balls to sufficiently loosen up and just massage out your neck, I'm gonna now show you how to use the foam roller. Basically, you're gonna use this in a little bit different way than you would the tennis balls, but it's the same principle. Really, you're gonna wanna focus on loosening up the traps which are right below the base of your neck, and you're really gonna wanna loosen that up because what I have found that happens a lot is your traps are very tight and that is actually what is causing the pain in your neck so being able to roll up both of them and loosen up both of them is going to eventually get you on the path to a less stiff neck all around if you are willing to work on even the muscle groups around the area that actually hurts so I usually start about mid back guys and I want to work my way slowly up until the point where my neck is nice and flush with the roller. You can even pause right here. But you're really going to want to focus on loosening up those traps. You can even pause for 10 to 15 seconds on your traps and then continue rolling. But doing this Doing this in conjunction with the tennis balls is really, really going to help you guys. So make sure you guys give this a shot. So the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the towel or the heating pad. I recommend a towel that is moistened just simply because for some reason, moist heat tends to work better than dry heat. So by moist heat, I mean a damp towel. You can take this towel, usually a hand towel works best being that it's smaller and easier to handle and put this in the bathtub or the sink. I like to use hot water just because it speeds the process along, but you're gonna wanna dampen this and then wring it out as best as possible so you're not having water everywhere. And then put it in the microwave for about a minute to a minute and a half. Be careful because the, the, the towel will come out very hot and you can kinda wring it out a little bit and let the steam pour off. And then after that, you're gonna wanna take the towel 
and place it around the base of your neck or where you're having most of the tightness. And this is really gonna help loosen up the muscles and just relieve a lot of the pain that you are having. I, can, I usually do this after my workouts, after I'm cooled down to make sure that I don't tighten up and have worse pain after my workout especially. But this, like the other things, can be done multiple times per day. So to kind of wrap the video up guys, I want to make sure that you guys are doing these at home remedies before you are running to the doctor or are even choosing to go to a chiropractor. A lot of these can relieve the pain you are having and it can even be done without taking any painkillers. I currently have had some tension headaches for about three days now and I've still been training every day and it has not been affecting my workouts too much just because I have been doing these things to remedy it. A lot of times people complain about injuries but they do not do anything to rehab them or to make them better. So make sure you guys choose to do this if you are having pain and it will help you guys out. Please like the video if you guys did enjoy it and share this video because tension headaches are something that can happen to anyone, whether you're an athlete, whether you're someone who sits at a desk all day looking at a computer, or if you're just a middle schooler who likes to text and you always have your head down. That is something that I even deal with all the time. I'm always looking down at my phone and I'm always staring at my computer, so tension headaches can happen to anyone, guys. Hopefully this video really helps you out and if you liked it, I think I already said this, but please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. So in this video, we're going to go look through uh, a kipping swing, which is the basis for a kipping pull-up, a bar muscle-up, and it also relates to, to ring muscle-ups. We've had a look at mobility, which can help for this exercise, and we've also had a look at some strength elements. So look at our other videos and find them. So first of all, Natan's going to jump up onto the bar, and he's going to be in a complete dead hang. The key to a kipping swing is making sure that your shoulders and your feet stay at the opposite side of the bar at all times. So Natan's going to have a swing and we can see what he's doing there. Shoulders move back, shoulders move forward. You can see his head comes through at the front and his ears come behind his arms at the back. Thanks Natan. A couple of key things to remember here is the body tension and how controlled you have to be at the front. We're moving from a hollow body position at the front to a superman position and at all times Natan's knees are straight, his feet are together, and his toes are pointed, as you can see there. So I'm just going to get him to do a common error. He's going to kick his heels back, and you can see the swing doesn't pick up at the back. His knees stop at the bottom, and his heels come up. The same thing can happen at the front. If you break through the hips and let your toes come up at the front, once again, the swing isn't generated correctly. Have a rest there. So make sure when you're doing this exercise, give it a go. Keep nice and tight through the body. Find that hollow position at the front, find that superman at the back, and shoulders and heels at the opposite side of the bar at all times. Give it a go, guys.